Hey Aquarius, welcome to my channel. This is a weekly tarot reading session for you Aquarius. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine. I hope you're safe wherever you are right now. This reading is for you, okay? This is for the Aquarius friends out there. What can I get for Aquarius, please? What is the weekly love intuitive message for you, all right? Before I start, I would like to thank you, Aquarius, for tuning in. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for being here. Guest viewers, if you haven't, click the subscribe button in the bell. Please do it now if you are interested and if you are keen. And if you would like to further support my channel, check out the description box below because in there, you will find the details of my Instagram account. Connect with me there, please. Check out my website or my online store. We have uploaded three new products. It is free shipping worldwide. It comes with a free tarot reading session from me. So type your question, type your manifestation, and I will get back to you with your free private reading, okay? And also Aquarius, um, we have created already a playlist to access the playlist. The link is down in the description box below. So if you would like to pick up more intuitive message from my channel, and um, it is a video uploaded in YouTube. And um, we created a summary of all the videos. The link to access that is down in the description box below, okay? So um, this is you. This is the weekly reading for you. What can, I get for, what can I get for Aquarius, please? I'm sorry. I'm struggling. There's a Mercury retrograde. And um, apologies if there's some sort of um, blabbering. I'm struggling to talk. Um... So this is for Aquarius. What is the weekly love message for Aquarius? What is the message, please? Okay, let me just ground my energy. Okay, this is for Aquarius. Okay, in today's reading, we will be or I will be delivering intuitive message with regards to the past energy or the past situation, the current energy, the blockages, the um, connecting energy between the two of you and the person that's manifesting you, the person who's coming towards you, your current energy, the future of this connection, predictive outcome and advice. Depending on the message that, are pick up, that I will pick up for today, I will let you know if there's a need to extend the reading, okay? So let's start the reading, Aquarius. You've got the two of wands in upright position and the two of swords. Um, okay, so the past energy, it seems to be, you have a plan, two of wands. It could be, um, two of wands, it's about planning, it's about making a move to a plan. Because two of wands, you've made already a decision making and you will action on it. And it could be a romantic situation, a romantic situation that is overseas or long distance or, it could be, I'm also getting like a feeling that you would move or you would move on. A plan to move on or a plan to move away. To forget someone, to forget something. Okay, two of wands. So you've got a plan to move on, to forget something. Um, to move away from a romantic energy. And then for some reason, um, you, you could also be an Aquarius who's single. And you're trying to move on from someone in the past. Or really move away from this person. Or you're saying no to love. Okay, that's the past energy. Two of wands, two of swords. This is two and two. Okay. So it's more of your for your for your mental health, for your peace. You are saying goodbye to this person, or you're switching off. For some of you, it could be temporary, but you've got a plan to move away from thinking of love or from thinking of this person. Or in, it could be an actual movement. Okay, but there is an action, there, there is a plan, and you are um, putting an action to that plan. You've got a plan in the past, and you are putting an actual effort to your plan. And for some reason, your plan, two of swords, it went to a pause mode, suspended. You decided not to proceed, or there was a delay with your plan. It's either you move on. Or you turn away yourself to love, like I'm going to stop loving you or I'm going to stop focusing on love. But that's your plan, but it got interrupted. Okay, there was a plan, it got interrupted. There was a plan, it got interrupted. The next card is you've got 
the eight of cups eight of cups is moving on from that Eight of Cups, okay? It could be you told yourself, I'm going to start all over again. I'm going to move away with love. I'm going to move on with this person. Then in the process of moving on, in the process of putting effort to move on, to forget about this person, this relationship, or in general, you're forgetting love. You know, love is not my priority. Goodbye. You switch off your energy. It's all about me. Eight of Cups. And then... You know, you dealt with the same person or you meet love again. Okay? Because the devil card in here, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But you are in the process of executing your plan. You're almost there. You're doing good. You're forgetting them. You're moving on. Or you're very focused on life itself, not love. And for some reason, you bump into love again. I don't think this is a toxic one. It's just that you're really good, you know. There was a delay. You got interrupted with your plan. And then you proceeded again, you know. It's like you're driving. There was a road bump. But you um, you managed to maneuver and then um, surpass or move away from the road bump. You're, in, you're on the right track. And then the universe played Cupid. And there you go. Um, you've got, um, you've got this, this is like, it's teasing you. It is an energy. It is a person. Okay. It's a romantic person that you liked before. Um, they could be, you know, while you were planning to move on, to forget about love, to think about yourself, to not focus on love or to not focus on this person, they went back. So you've got a romantic situation where, you know, I'm really getting like you're trying to not focus on love or look for love or go back and think about this person. But you, <laughs> you bump into them again. You bump into love. It is as if the universe is playing Cupid with you and it's messing up on your mind, in your life, <laughs> in your path. You know, it's the universe is telling you, oi, <laughs> you promise you won't look at love. You want to take a break on it or you're so... You made a pledge to yourself to never look at this person again. And here you are. You're being tempted to love again or to connect again with this person or to gamble again and to try again to love. Okay? But there is love. There's a romantic. But you find love toxic. You find this person toxic. Because you made a pledge to yourself, I'm going to forget you or I'm not going to forget. Or, you know, you're, you're, you're that, you made the pledge to yourself, I'm going to forget you. I'm going to move on with you. Um, you're, you are a toxic to me. You're going to delay me in my path to life. Or you could be talking to yourself and making pledge. Okay, love is good, but that's not priority. Go away, love. And here you go. Here you go. Here's the universe playing Cupid with you. Okay, the universe, gonna, the universe has given you something to delay your travel. To let you open your heart with love. Or it could be someone in the past who... You had an on and off relationship. It could be an ex. But there they are. You know, there they are. They're showing up. As you move on, as you take a different direction in your life, love comes along or this person came back. In the current energy, you know, um, you're running away. <laughs> um, the chariot card, the eight of wands. Um, they're, you're running away and they're following you. Love is following you. You're running away. You're running away because this, this is you. You're running away from love and love is chasing you. Okay. Um, it's a very general, this is your current energy. It's very general. You're running away with love and love follows you or there's a person that you are avoiding, that you're ready to let go, but they're following you. You know, this is a time where you're so focused into you. You're so decided to forget or to temporarily block loving again or in a relationship and yet they all come at once so there's an ex there's a past person and there's a new love who's chasing you all together okay um i feel like this is gonna happen between now up until august your life is like a shamble because the more you switch off your interest to this person or to this love yet they follow you so there is a convincing energy love will convince you Love is convincing you. Um, there's a trail 
you're following because this is seven and this is eight though so there is a trail you know there is in here a current energy up until july august that you're following a trail you have a preference okay there is a past person there's new love in here as well that i'm getting i'm picking up the new love is between now and, a, and a, there is a new love between now and April. And there is also a past person who will follow you, but you're following a trail. You are into proceeding with, because this is your, in the past two of ones, you have a plan, it got delayed and you proceeded and you bump into love again. Okay. So there's new love in the current energy. Uh, in the current energy, you will experience a person from the past, maybe multiple, between now and up until to April, there's new love. And they will chase you, they will be around, but you you are on track. I like your energy, Aquarius, because you know what you want. You're on track. You're following a trail. You're very detailed on the trail or the path that you're following. That person in the past will be around. They will follow you. You started to open your heart again with love, but it is in the direction that you want, which is good. Because in the past, you're quite fixated about yourself, okay? You have a condition to follow. You're free thinking, you know, Aquarius, you're very free thinking. You've, you know, you'll, you'll allow this person to talk to you, but it seems to be you've made up your mind. The judgment that you felt towards this person is final, but you'll allow them to interact with you. Okay, your judgment and your feeling towards this person, it is quite fixated or it, it's it's more of you're talking to them. But for, for you, they have they are already expired. You know, like I'm over you. I'm just talking to you and you're following a trail. It seems to be a new person or a new relationship, but you have a trail. You're following something. There's a there's a love energy in here. It's not quite strong yet, but you believe that this is the right person or right trail for you okay there is a past person previous love they will interact with you they will communicate with you but this is you facing them and telling and convincing yourself i finally move on i can talk to you in a plain in casual and i could really say i don't like you anymore i don't love you anymore or i could just really casually say i'm no longer in love with you okay so your person thinks that there's still, there's still some sort of connection with you, but you, the way you look at them is, you know, we're just talking, but I'm following a track. You are into your journey, into the path, in leading you into the path. So I really like your energy. Yeah, Queen of Wands, the King of Swords. So they're very social. Whoever you're going to deal with is a very social, active, charming, okay? And then the devil card, the king of swords in reverse. Your ex, your past person will be around to tease you, to delay you. But you're so focused into the right track. It could be you're chasing career, you're chasing your dreams. But between Feb and up until April 2021, you've got new love. So that's possible that you're, you know, you're open. You have opened your door to your person, to your ex, to that someone in the past to communicate with you. But that's just you being so intelligent and facing the devil. Because this is you. You're facing the devil. Okay, you're following me. You want to talk to me? Okay, I'll face you. And then as you talk, you are, you realize that I need to move on with you because I don't feel anything with you. And it's a closure. So you you face the devil. You know, you have... um. You become the queen of wands, you know. You... You run away from toxic. You don't, you know what you want. You're running away. You're moving on. Queen, And you accelerated, you know, from the chariot card, the eight of wands, you have accelerated. You speed up because you know what you want. You become the queen of wands. You know, this is you. Very smart, very charming. You know, you look at your person, this past person and say, you are a devil. You will tempt me, but I've got so much to do in life. I've got a trail to follow. Okay, so you're pretty much an Aquarius that you know what you want. I love your energy. Your ex, your past person will play devil, will play Cupid, but you look at them like a cat. You look at them like a shady business. And then in the immediate future, predictive outcome and advice, they'll follow you. And there's also new love because you become the queen of wands. You become the queen of wands. So you're attracting new love or you're taking care of, you're taking care of yourself or a career 
or a new relationship because I pick up a new energy in here because the way you sprint from the cancer from can from from this to this you're sprinting out of this past connection and you're moving on into a more present um in the immediate future predictive outcome and advice you're willing to start all over again in life you're in your journey you're very happy you're joyful you're happy with how your life is tracking in the immediate future you're not looking into marriage right away but you you feel like um this is really good because the full card the justice card you have felt karma um the person in the past your ex the person who made it difficult for you um you feel like you've got your justice from the universe and they chase you they were back and you give them an energy a blank energy you know full card you know you're you're you want to start a new beginning, you are in a new journey, you're a new you, you know, but you're not looking at um at that person in the past, you know, because you felt like the universe has activated justice for me. Okay, this is this is this justice card. You could be dealing with Libra, but this justice card, this is related to that past person. You're making it right to yourself, you know that your past person is interested with you. Um, somehow you still have some interest with them but you're saying no I don't want to go back there this is you full card justice card I you know the ju I got justice from the universe my ex my past person came back but that's not what I want I want something brand new okay I want something brand new in my life in my career I want a brand new person and I got my karma because when the person an ex or a past person came back I'm no longer interested. This is you. Um, you've got here a page of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, four of pentacles. The more you move away from your past, um, the more you move on and enjoy your life, whether you're single or you are opening your heart to a new relationship, the more your person in the past, this ex, this ex, this ex or the past person, the more they follow you. You could, it's possible that you have an ex who will message you and they will tell you that they really miss you. They want you back. And it's pretty obvious. Someone is chasing you from the past. Okay. Um, I think you still have a pinch in your heart that they're telling you in the future that they want you back. They want to fix it. They want to be with you. What you feel towards this person is pity. This is your person. They look sick. They look like they're begging you which is you don't want them to feel that way you don't want this person to feel like they're begging you they're chasing you because you've been in that stage you've been in that phase where you almost beg you almost bleed you almost bleed to death and pain and hurt you don't want them to experience that because you're such in a very good energy look at that the full card the you know the justice card you felt like what your person is experiencing right now whether they're in pain or in karma that is the universe justice you cannot add more pain to them you know you're not very spiteful you're just you you know and there's someone you've got you've got a new person who's like a best friend and you'll have a romantic partnership with this person the the new person the new love interest between feb up until april 2020 it's like your best friend and it's going to go romantic. So whoever this new person is or new relationship, it's really good. Okay? It's it's developing to be someone who will be your buddy, your friend, your lover. It's built in. And then your past, your ex, someone in the past will come around. They look very dirty. They look you know, dirty in the sense that they look like they're in a mess. They look like they're begging. It's not really a healthy connection. And you feel pity towards this person because you're no longer interested they will you know you feel like why now you have already started their journey you know the full card you won't downgrade because this energy is downgrading you don't want to downgrade you don't want to you don't you don't want people to beg with you you just want them to go away like you know move on because i'm happy where i am right now with my best friend with my lover with my life because you waited them this if they acted this way in the past you know it they could have you know gotten you back but 
I see you not interested with this, you know, page of pentacles because it looks poor, untidy. It looks like they're begging. So you, you don't want this energy to affect your journey, your next path, the trail that you're following. Look at that. You're not afraid of your next. You're not afraid of, you know, what's coming in the future because you've got a friend, you've got a dog, you've got a best friend lover in the making. So this is really, really good. Congratulations to you. One of the best reading. <laughs> I hope you like it, guys. I hope this will resonate to all of you. And I wish you the best. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.